Hi, my name is Beverovka. In this video, I will show you how my Infinity Station works and how you have to connect the modules. Uh, if you have some feedback, how to make it better, or some ideas for more modules, uh, leave a comment below. And the link for the workshop blueprint is in the description area. And if you like it, don't forget to press the thumb up button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, let's start. I like to start with the main module. Uh, we are in creative mode, um, so I can record the video a little bit faster for you. Um, place it where you want it. And you see there are four colored interfaces. Um, I call them Booty 1 because uh, I have two different uh, interfaces. Um, Booty 1, Beberovka Universal Docking Interface 1 is with doors, so you can move through it. And on the top uh, and bottom, there are two small interfaces, Booty 2, without doors, only with connectors. So there you can place some small modules. As a difference between small and uh, big modules. The big modules are uh, modules where you can walk through. I place it here. At first I have to wither the new module and search for the LCD panel. There's the tutorial for um, preparing the module in the correct correct way. There's a little part of code or for the argument in the program able block. In best case, it's already pasted in. So I have to count my modules of this kind. It's my first, so I place a, a one. I place the one here. And then I click on run and all the blocks in the whole module are renamed. It's successfully when it listed here. And all the blocks are renamed now. After that, you can break down the prom programmable block and the LCD panel. And the main module is ready to go. Next, I like to continue with the corridor. Take it from the workshop, give it the correct, correct alignment. If you see, there's a um, programmable block and an LCD panel too. So in this moment, you are able to, um, in the creative mode, you are able to dock it only from one side because the blocks are blocking um, the, the connecting spot. So we are in creative. We Place it directly on this side. Take this argument and place it here. In best case, it's already pasted. So it's my first corridor, so it's the one, two. Run. Successful. Break down this and this, and you're ready to go. That's all. The first two modules are connected to each other. So open the post doors and it's ready. If you want, you can break down the doors. There's no leak for pressure. So um, to make sure the connectors are working correctly, you only have to press the button two. Once it's, uh, it doesn't matter which side, and now the connector is locked. So you can move some items uh, from A to B. Before we are starting to build up new modules, uh, let's have a look at them to the interfaces. Uh, they are colored. They are colored because you, um, it's easier to identify which button moves which connector or interface. Take a look over here. These two buttons are for the green. So you only have to look where's the green, okay? Um, so if you press here, you, you know that you are controlling this interface. And this is a yellow connection uh, on the bottom. So on the other side, the other four buttons to each interface. And here are the two ones for blue. 
and for red so there's red and blue is here so both buttons are controlling toggling of the blocks so you can switch off the whole interface for undocking uh, modules and the second one is for the connector to switch lock so after connecting uh, a module you have to click on switch lock so the um, items can move from the module to the next module. and next we are building uh, the hub module so you can place it there and now you have a crossroad with more booty one uh, interfaces and two booty two it's my first hub, so also hub one. And now we have more connectors for more modules. At least I will build a big module, um, the Jim Bacon landing pad. It's a little bit bigger. Place it there. That's a little bit bigger. Go to this, to the programmable block it's my first landing pad so also the one now we are able to land on the station fields are lightening up when you come into the station and dock go out upstairs to the airlock right now it's open then you can go through and you will see the doors deactivated so press the button change direction for uh, change the pressure in the room if you press it this door will close the pressure will change and if the light screen you can go through and you are in the station you also can here delete the door but this you also need Okay, at this point, we have a little uh, space station with the main module, uh, a corridor and a hub, and also an airlock and landing pad. So what about uh, some functionally small modules? This module you can plug on a small interface, the booty 2. Did it? You see? It's connected, it's powered. But the thrusters are not in all directions, just need them on the opposite side. Another iron nozzle. Okay, and now the station is able to stabilize uh, in space. So if you um, exogenously bump the station with a ship or something, um, the dampeners will stabilize the sp uh, station in space, so it uh, it don't move any longer. The next functionally small module is, uh, for example, the generator module with some H two O two generators uh, on it. And now the station is able to uh, convert ice in uh, H2 or O2, oxygen or hydrogen. But where do we store the uh, oxygen or the hydrogen? Easy going. Some tank modules will help. So, tanks for hydrogen. And thanks for oxygen. See, in small time, you converted uh, some modules to a functionally uh, space station. And there are a lot of interfaces for build a bigger one. And, uh, in my workshop, you will find uh, some. In my workshop. In my workshop you will find many blueprints for this infinity station have a look and uh, follow uh, or subscribe the um, blueprint or, or the whole collection in steam workshop see you in the next video 
And that's it. If you like it, press the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, download the um, workshop blueprint, and see you next time. Bye.